August has ended and so that means new critters have headed our way and my battle with the scarab beetle has finally ended. I won by the way. If you've seen these videos before then you know the drill, if not then how we do this is I tell you what's new to the month of September for each creature, then I'll tell you what will be leaving midnight on October 1st and then finally what to expect next month. I do this for both hemispheres and all the timestamps are in the description down below. So get ready because here we go, starting with the northern hemisphere and fish. All of the new fish in September are river fish just to make things easier on your hunts but they are dotted all over the place. Starting at the top on clifftop rivers we have a few fish that can be all found between 4pm and 9am. The cherry salmon, char and golden trout. In the general river area there are two fish turning up, pikes can be found all day and mitten crabs between 4pm and 9am. Finally at the mouth there are three fish all of which can be found all day. The sturgeon will return and we will finally see the salmon and the king salmon. The latter two are only available during this month so make sure you catch them or you'll be waiting one whole year. As the warm months of the northern hemisphere start to disappear so do a lot of the fish. As of midnight October 1st the following will be vacating. First of all in ponds, crawfish are found all day and gar are available between 4pm and 9am. As for the river, I already told you this month is your only chance for the salmon and king salmon which are available at the river mouth all day. In the rest of the river, sweet fish are available all day. Between 4pm and 9am you can find the soft shelled turtle, arowana, and arapaima. Nibblefish are available between 9am and 4pm. Piranha are found between 9am and 4pm and 9pm and 4am. Dorado between 4am and 9pm and saddled beeshear between 9pm and 4am. Finally in the sea, clownfish, surgeonfish, butterflyfish, pufferfish, whale shark and suckerfish are available all day. Between 4am and 9pm ocean sunfish are available and I'm still yet to catch one because I keep messing them up. Between 4pm and 9am you can find the saw shark, great white shark and hammerhead shark and specifically on the pier the blue marlin is available all day. Moving on to the bugs, although there are a few new ones most of what is showing up are returning ones. Flying around between 4am and 7pm we see the return of the common butterfly and yellow butterfly. Between 4am and 5pm is the monarch butterfly and the newest addition between 8am and 7pm is the red dragonfly. On the ground between 5pm and 8am are the cricket and bell cricket. On tree stumps we'll see the return of the violin beetle which is available all day. And finally we get the return of bugs when we hit rocks between 11pm and 4pm is the pill bug and between 4pm and 11pm is the centipede. Just like the fish quite a few bugs will be disappearing with the cold. Flying around between 8am and 5pm is the agrius butterfly and Raja Brooks birdwing. The tiger butterfly is available between 4am and 7pm and the emperor butterfly between 5pm and 8am. Queen Alexandra's birdwing and the Madagascan sunset moth between 8am and 4pm and mosquitoes between 5pm and 4am. On the ground, earth boring dung beetles are found all day and grasshoppers between 8am and 5pm. On trees, between 7pm and 4am you can get the atlas moth, the rainbow stag between 7pm and 8am and walker cicadas between 8am and 5pm. On specifically palm trees, the goliath beetle is available between 5pm and 8am. On tree stumps, rosalia batesy beetles can be found all day. On fresh water, between 8am and 7pm are pond skaters and diving beetles and giant water bugs are available from 7pm until 8am. Finally, disguised as leaves, walking leaves are available all day. In the deep sea creature department we have quite a few new ones appearing. Between 4pm and 9am you'll find the chambered nautilus and the sweet shrimp and turban shells, oysters and umbrella octopi are available all day. As for what's leaving, again it's quite a bit. Between 4pm and 9am are slate pencil urchins, flatworms and tiger prawns. Horseshoe crabs are available from 9pm until 4am. Sea urchins, moon jellyfish, sea grapes and gigas giant clams can be found all day. Moving on to the southern hemisphere and beginning with fish, as the southern hemisphere begins to heat up we're actually seeing some new fish. <laughs> In ponds from September 1st are tadpoles that are available all day. In clifftop rivers, cherry salmon, char and golden trout are available from 4pm until 9am, just like in the northern hemisphere. In the general river, loaches are found all day. And in the sea, barred knife jewels are available all day. As for what's leaving midnight October 1st, there are a few. In clifftop rivers, stringfish are found between 4pm and 9am. In the general river, bitterling and yellow perch are available all day. And at the river mouth, sturgeons are available all day. In the sea, sea butterfly are available all day and football fish between 4pm and 9am. On to the bugs, the southern hemisphere is also getting quite a few bugs. <laughs> 
Flying around between 4am and 7pm you'll find the yellow butterfly and tiger butterfly and specifically around hybrid flowers is the peacock butterfly. The honeybee is available between 8am and 5pm. On flowers between 8am and 5pm mantis and ladybugs can be found. Stink bugs are available all day. Man faced stink bugs between 7pm and 8am. And specifically on white flowers orchid mantis are available between 8am and 5pm. So what's leaving? Fortunately there is only one bug leaving the southern hemisphere this month and that is the emperor butterfly which can be found flying around between 5pm and 8am. Finally the deep sea creatures of the south that are new are the following. Chambered nautilus are found between 4pm and 9am and turban shells, spider crabs, firefly squid and umbrella octopus are available all day. And as for what's leaving again only one and that is the red king crab that will be swimming around all day. So that's all about what's new and what's leaving. So what about what's coming in October? Well the northern hemisphere will finally start feeling the pain of the southern hemisphere now that we're beginning to cool down as there are only two new fish next month and they're both returning ones. Yellow perches and dabs. Again for bugs we're only getting the ladybug but for deep sea creatures we'll be getting spiny lobsters and venus's flower baskets as well as the return of seaweed. The southern hemisphere on the other hand are getting a fair few new fish. Killifish, crawfish, snapping turtles, guppies, neon tetra, seahorses, clownfish, surgeonfish, butterflyfish and zebra turkey fish. The same goes for bugs. Common blue bottles, agrius butterflies, raja brooks bird wings, atlas moth, Madagascan sunset moths, long locusts, Dana dragonflies, giant water bugs, jewel beetles and fleas will be making their appearance. And for sea creatures there will only be lobsters and sea pineapples showing up. As usual any mistakes in this video will be corrected in a pinned comment down below. I hope this video has been helpful, a like would be appreciated if it has. Comment down below if you're happy the northern hemisphere is finally feeling southern's pain. Subscribe to see more from me, follow me on twitter and instagram to see what else I get up to, join the discord for some wholesome fun and I'll see you next time. Bye! Bye.